If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And as you guys do know, if you don't already know, rookie premieres have been done for quite a while now. And hopefully you guys went ahead and got those rookie premieres done. Now, I'm not going to be ranking them on here. There's a tier maker list. So, guys, for all you guys who are playing Madden 21 or plan to play Madden 21 and you did your rookie premieres already, you've probably been curious, did I make the right choices? Did I pick the right ones? Who's going to get the most upgrades? I have quite a few years of rookie premiere experience. I'm going to do a tier list on the side in just a second once we get into this and go over who I think will be the best overall ones. And it's going to be based on a few things. Not who's going to be the best position. Not who's going to be the best overall. Who's going to be the most usable because... You know, a quarterback might be the best overall, but a wide receiver might get the most upgrade. You know what I mean? So I'll go through that in just a second. I'm going to go through who I think will probably be the most beneficial one starting from left to right. And you guys have a pretty good idea like, okay, so this guy should be pretty good for me next year. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Get ready for 21. You don't got to watch now. Just be ready for 21. I'm super excited. Just ordered a lot of parts for my computer, some new Wi-Fi stuff. This should be a pretty crazy year tech-wise. I'm pretty excited to start everything up. New router new chips new ram everything I i'm super hyped to get into this year but guys before we get into the video for let you guys know we're less than a month out we're less than a month out. i'm getting super hyped but nope let's get into it guys head over to the tier list and get and do all this and see what you guys think and let me know down below what you guys would rank them as we do it guys okay, so we're here on the tier list as you guys can see we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten as per usual i'm going to start from the right instead because Looking at this now, I can kind of see that most of the better ones are towards the front. Well, the better uh, the better drafted ones, I should say. The earlier draft. So we're going to start from the back. So Cole Komet, tight end. So the way it's going to work, there's D, C, B, A, and S. S is going to be like, they're going to be a great rookie premiere all year. I think they're going to be one of the best ones easily. Uh, D is going to be like, honestly, I wouldn't have even done them probably. The, the chances of them being useful are very going to be very rare. So Cole Komet. The issue with the tight end is the issue that we've had with Hayden Hurst. And like the tight end in the past is that typically first year tight ends don't get used that often because tight ends have to learn a lot. They have to learn how to they have to they have to learn their routes, the playbook, their blocking schemes, their assignments. Because tight ends are essentially linemen, wide receivers, and like their brains, linemen, wide receiver, they're everything. And if you're Travis Kelsey, you can even be like a running back or like a back too at the same time. So like tight ends gotta pretty much play every position on the field. That's what they are. They're a big body that's versatile. So it sometimes takes a while for them to get like acclimate, acclimated to the NFL. So, and it's the Chicago Bears. They don't have a heavy passing attack. I mean, they've tried, but they've been more run heavy in the recent years, or at least they've been more productive running wise. I mean, they try to pass. So I don't think that Cole Komet's going to be some feature tight end. I really don't think he'll get many upgrades. He might get like a ghost of future pass. I mean, a ghost of future, uh, ghost of future, sorry, ghost of future, but that might be it because that's what they did with Hayden Hurst. So I'm not looking too, I'm not too heavy on Cole Komet this year. That's why I didn't do him. Xavier McKinney, safety for the Giants. Now here's the issue. Will he get upgrades? Yes. Will he be good? Yes, because he's going to have high speed. He's going to be a mix of man and zone, which is very useful. But the issue with uh, Xavier McKinney is on the Giants. So when it comes to a safety, like, I don't know if you guys ever played football or how much I understand. I know some of you guys probably understand, like, being a strong spot on a weak defense doesn't always show. So like, if you're a defensive end, sometimes it might show because you, you're one-on-one -on -one with your guy. You've got to make it happen. But when you're a secondary guy, your safety and all your cornerbacks suck or your defense is just really weak, they're going to eat you alive. So you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to make your big plays. You're not going to be able to play your position because you're so focused on everyone else. Like basketball, when no one's playing defense, you got to cover three guys at once. Like It's kind of like that. Like You'll never look great on defense. So I feel like McKinney is going to have to build with this defense. He, he may be a bright spot, but I don't think he's going to be one of the best ones. I'm going to put him in. I think it'll be pretty decent to start the year, though. So I'm putting him at B. I don't think he's one of the best ones, but I think he's not. Not that he's not worth doing. But it might be hard for him to get standout cards. Will he get team of the week defensive, maybe? Yes, maybe a pick six. Maybe this. Uh, probably maybe a future set. Future past. From post future. I keep saying that. Clyde Edwards Alaire. Now, I honestly really like Clyde. Now, the issue with Clyde, because I, I got to give pros and cons. Pros of, pros of Clyde, he's going to be featured. He's going to be featured. You don't draft the running back first round for a Super Bowl level offense that plans to go back to back. Unless you plan to use him. He's going to be featured. He's going to be getting plenty of stats. Going to have probably a great year, which puts him in line just automatically for a rookie. Like if you if you can guarantee production, you know he's going to get Madden cards. He's on the Chiefs. The Chiefs are going to be the they're going to make they're going to be the money makers for the for Madden this year. Like oh, Mahomes cards, just like the Ravens. 
I'm gonna put Clyde in A. I think Clyde, the only issue with Clyde is that he may not have the highest speed. He may be more like a, a hybrid speed slash receiving back, which may like put him at McCaffrey level. But again, for free? Well, not for free, but for next year, I'll feel free. And at the end of the day, you still have him upgraded all year. And it's always nice to have a backup back because you don't like to buy the backup back. But if you have one, it's like, okay, Saquon's tired, Clyde, come in. Or he just hops in seamlessly and you don't even think about it. He just hops in and you keep rocking with him. Next, we got Patrick Queen. Now, guys, Patrick Queen, no-brainer for me, S-tier. I think Patrick Queen's going to be like the Devin Bush of this year. Going to just be getting upgrades. All Every upgrade is going to be useful. Like, this year, Devin Bush started for me almost to the end. It's just like, Devin Bush is like, eh, he's getting kind of bad, getting kind of bad. And you upgrade, fastest linebacker in the game. I think Patrick Queen has the potential to be one of the fastest user linebackers. Good height, good body size. think he has the potential to be a guy that he could be my linebacker to all year. Especially because early in Madden, they do not give any linebacker speed. Will they get Bush speed? Probably. But other before Bush, like all linebackers are getting like 79s, 82s, 83s. And there's Devin Bush like an 86. Like that was just game changing. CD Lamb. The thing with Lamb is I think Lamb will be more of a B type guy. Now the issue with Lamb is this, is that he's on the Cowboys. So I think I think they'll, they'll ride him. I think they'll give him his cards. But the issue is he's third receiver. May not put up game changing. He may be, I think he's going to be a better player in real life than he'll be for like let's say fantasy or madden because in real life he's going to be able to just spread the field going to be able to just give him a three wide receiver look going to be able to be game changing but stat wise there's three receivers there i don't think unless cooper gets hurt i don't think cd lamb goes crazy crazy so because they still have gallup they have cooper they have lamb and they run a lot so i mean they were a heavy passing offense but they also run a lot so i feel like it's hard to support three receivers stat wise but in terms of cards i think we'll get good cards but especially with receiver, it's just tough to have that nat receiver. Like, we had Torrey Holt, but they, they kept Torrey Holt good all year. Uh, CD Lamb, I mean, we might get some team of the weeks, maybe some promo cards. Don't think he'll ever be a top tier receiver this year. Could be wrong. Tristan Wirfs, linemen just, linemen are tough. I mean, it's nice to have a right tackle, though. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes they don't give many right tackles to start the year, unless until you get that Jack Lane Johnson card or that first heavyweight one. Could just be a decent right tackle to have, move him around the line. He's athletic, I know that. So I'll put him in that and B. But Lyman just, it's tough to predict upgrades. Like, we've had Lyman this year. Like, I took the left guard for the Falcons. He literally got, like, no upgrades all year. It was just, it was a waste. It was an absolute waste of a card. I thought he would have done a lot better. Didn't do too great. It was kind of upsetting that he didn't do that great. But whatever, I mean, I did him. So I'm not going to take any chances with Lyman anymore. Derek Brown. I think Derek Brown could fall into an A tier, just position alone. Derek Brown has a chance to be game-breaking at the line of scrimmage. First off, everyone hates buying defensive tackles. People hate it. And especially you need two. People hate buying the second one. Derek Brown can be that guy, just like for me with Nick Bose this year, just my second backup lineman that's just kind of there. Move him around the line. Someone gets tired, toss him in. And even better, if he gets a good card to start the year, like a good team preseason team of the week. Oh, there's no preseason this year. Hmm. So that's going to that's gonna be weird for uh, Ricky Premier specifically because, you know, you kind of hope that they have a big game there. But if you can get a decent card early in the year, he can be a nice backup defensive tackle too, which if you get any use out of these cards, you take it because not many cards will give you use. Jeff Okuda, I'll put him at the front of A. Now, Okuda is a position that's, you know, there's three, up to four, up to even five, depending on the package. Cornerback on the field at once, usually two to three, could be four. And if you're running some crazy dime scheme package with like a speed, I don't know, where you have like everyone a cornerback. But he will have a spot to play on your team. And especially in the early years, in the early game, you like to buy that number one cornerback. You get your top back, your cornerback, and you're like, okay. But then you got to buy a second one. You're like, oh, wow. The by the time you get into your third, it's like, I'll leave that as gold. So he's going to be a perfect guy to slot in there real quick. Should have good speed, should have good versatility. And not to mention, he should be able to get some decent upgrades throughout the year and always be at that position. Chase Young, I'm going to put him back. I'm putting him in the ST with Devin Queen. Going to be the line of scrimmage. Should be better than Nick Bosa was this year because Nick Bosa was ass for Madden. So Chase Young should be super fast, super athletic, great on the line. And again, you could put him at any, and the beginning of the game, pass rush is so important. If you can't afford to buy pass rush, you're not buying packs and stuff, toss him in there. And he was he was a top pick, so you know he's going to be getting tons of cards. Hopefully, he stays healthy. And that line of, at the Redskins line is very, very good. So it's going to be hard to double team to one side. And then Joe Burrow, the final card here. Uh, Joe Burrow is going to go in for me, I think, A, based off of card upgrades alone. Just off card upgrades. And actually, I'm move worse to C now that I think about it because someone has to be in C. And worse, I really don't think we'll get too many upgrades. Oh, he is on the P. He's Tom Brady now. But, and Joe Burrow, despite his looking card art there, I think Joe Burrow is in a position where he's going to get tons of cards. But you just never lock in a quarterback. Now, why would Joe Burrow not be the quarterback for Madden? He doesn't have great throw power. He's not going to be an escape artist quarterback. 
it's Joe Montana. It's Joe Montana, John Elway. Now, don't get me wrong. Could it be good day one? Probably. Could it be good the first few weeks? Probably. But once they drop that Pat Mahomes or that next Lamar or even the first Lamar, like, it's like, eh, eh, I don't know. I mean, he's going to get tons of upgrades. So off of how many cards he'll get, he might be the most worthwhile card to use upgrade wise. But in terms of just being able to use him, there's no back of quarterback you're going to be using. There's no injuries. So I don't see it. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this gives you a fair representation of my thoughts on the uh, rookie premieres. But guys, about it. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.